Hi guys, quick time lapse video for you today. I've got a remix of a model on Thingiverse. Uh, it's actually for my 3D Hubs orders, um, and it is this. It's a 3D Hubs stamp. Uh, plan to use this stamp on my envelopes, my packages that I send out, uh, just so they can identify that that it's a 3D Hubs order, um, and it's a remix of their logo, which is available on Thingiverse. And I've used it to create a rubber stamp using some um, modelling uh, silicon paste. I've then created the stamp and the mould using Tinkercad. Really simple project, it's worked really well. All you do, bit of ink, take the stamp, get some ink on the stamp, get your example parcel. This is one from uh, an AliExpress parcel. You'll probably see a video around about there if you want to see some un unboxing post bags. Get the parcel. And there we go. You can see got a little rubber stamp of 3D hubs. Really simple project. Dead quick. Once you're finished with it, you can even put the stamp in the mould. And it's like a little stand for it. Uh, show you the time lapse and a couple of pictures after this. Don't forget if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Uh, you got any comments about it? Leave them in the comments below. Cheers, guys. simply mix up the silicon paste it's a two part compound that you mix together like an epoxy and after about five minutes it goes hard after about half an hour just leave it to make sure it's completely set and just simply pull it out of the mold and there you get your stamp the space for the silicon mold is a little bit smaller than the actual mold so it does sit in there and it just holds it tight the depth of the mold is a little bit larger than the actual stamp hole so when you push the silicon stamp into it, it should stick out just a little bit. You can see at the top of the stamp there's a little mini logo that's just for orientation. Just so you get the stamp in the right place and the right way around. <laughs> 